I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Tommy Wiseau is a bizarre character, to say the least. When an actor has a distinctive screen presence, they're commonly referred as having it. It. It's a special quality. No matter what is going on, you cannot take your eyes off that person. Every word they say, every gesture you're interested in. Do I have it? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. What? Sometimes a person will even have limited acting skill, but will be a successful leading man because they possess this it quality. Alt Schwarzenegger's huge movie career is a prime example. Tommy Wiseau very much has it. However, saying he has limited acting talent is overselling it. He has almost inverse acting talent. Practically every line delivery in every motion feels many beats off from normal. The same could be said for his direction and writing. His movie, The Room, is a truly unique film experience. It shows his inverse talent in full display. This is why the film is such a cult hit and why we now have a movie about the making of one of the worst movies ever made. Starring James Franco as Wiseau, the disaster artist tells the story of Wiseau's friendship with his The Room co-star, Greg Sestro de Franco. The two move to Los Angeles to become successful actors. When that doesn't develop, they decide to make their own movie. By they, I mean Sestero proposed the idea, while Wiseau does most everything else. James Franco's impression of Wiseau's presence is amazing. He truly does a great job of recreating Wiseau's indescribable accent. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. The disaster artist manages the delicate balance of making fun of Wesso while also having some sympathy for him. I say making fun, but I'm not sure if it's the right term as much as the best term. Wesso presents himself in such bizarre light, and this movie captures that perfectly. I've seen interviews with him, and this movie shows the man in those interviews. The Room is a garbage fire of a movie. It's shockingly entertaining for all the wrong reasons and definitely belongs in the pantheon of so bad it's good filmmaking. It's amazing that from that movie can come a rather smart movie. Movie like the disaster artist. It's like a diamond appearing from a turd. It's reminiscent of what Best Worst Movie did for Troll 2, a glimpse into the minds that can make something so terrible and yet so entertaining all at once. I will say the disaster artist does flounder a bit in early act two when our two leads are just looking for work with no real direction. Seth Rogen also isn't a character and just the straight man to point out the weird stuff in the room. Cut. Why are you cut, Sandy? This is great. This is real acting. If you're gonna ride around with the dress, maybe do it before you shoot yourself in the head and blow your brains out. Despite these issues, The Disaster Artist is a must-see for anyone interested in filmmaking, and especially so bad it's good movies. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page. 